What is up everyone and welcome to this video on what you should change, what you should tweak um, when you're gonna play FIFA 19 on the PC. Um, this is maybe a video I should have created uh, when the game first came out, but of course like during the, the time we found out some new things to change uh, that helped you in a way. And there are probably some people still who just booted up the game the first time, haven't looked back and maybe could change a few settings to improve their gameplay experience and their overall experience within FIFA. So where we're gonna start is um, how you're gonna play the game. I myself use a uh, PS4 controller, wireless. Um, I got a cheap uh, Bluetooth dongle from AliExpress or some, some other, other site, doesn't really matter. And uh, by using the program DS4, uh, I will put a link uh, to it in the description. You can um, put in your controller, see the battery status, um, change the, the colors if you want. Um, let me pick a good color so you can see. Maybe you like blue more. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Some other things you can do within the program is you can edit the profiles. So you can set that it flashes a red color when the battery is almost um, out so that you don't um, have a dead controller in the middle of a game. For instance, I disabled the, the PS button because sometimes when I would accidentally click it, it would open Steam in big picture mode and I would get a DC. As well as the touchpad, you can disable or, you know, change controls doesn't really matter. And then over in the controller readings tab, you can see your uh, controller input delay. Some of you might use the um, PS4 controller uh, wired. And if you would check uh, on your own PC uh, in this screen, you would uh, see four uh, milliseconds delay. This is because with the software and how it works, um, because it has to encode your inputs to act like it's a uh, Xbox controller. Uh, it will be stuck at 4ms. I won't say that is a huge difference, but if you want, and of course without a wire is, is way nicer and, and easier to have. You can get a dongle for like two euros or something. Will take a while before it's there, uh, of course, from China, but um, it will give you, I would say, an overall uh, better experience. And then in the settings bar, you have to uh, have high DS4 controller so that you don't, don't get overlapping input. Because if you don't uh, tick this box, um, then the game will see the Xbox controller that it emulates and the normal DS4 input, which is not sufficient enough to work with FIFA. So it kind of conflicts. So be sure to tick this option. You can have that the latency bar flashes at a certain MS. If you get a decent dongle, um, it should just uh, stay solid, like around 1.5 to maximum. Depends also on like if you have other Bluetooth devices devices uh, near you. So the next subject we're gonna talk about is the launcher of the game. As we all know, FIFA, um, when you started in Origin, uh, it has a launcher option. And I will uh, show you uh, which uh, settings I use. Uh, this is all a bit personal preference, of course. I play the game on my native uh, resolution, full screen. That's what I prefer. I would say window borderless is nicer because you can alt top more quickly. It's a little bit smoother, but I found the gameplay to be less smooth. Um, it's a little bit stuttery sometimes. So I just stick to full screen. Uh, doesn't really matter that much. Uh, the rendering quality, I play on low. I don't think ultra and low is that big of a difference. This kind of depends on how good your PC is. Uh, gameplay wise, I think it's minimal difference. I'm just used to how it looks on low, but I might change it to ultra and, and see um, how that is. Uh, then MSAA options. I would say this has a negative impact on uh, your gameplay experience. Um, the higher you put the option, uh, the more power it requires from your PC. Although it would probably look better in an online game where you need to react as quick as possible. Usually these kind of options you would uh, turn off uh, unless you maybe only play a career mode, then why not put everything on max if your PC can handle it. Uh, now for the frame rate part, uh, this is something that I still see a lot of people that don't understand it. And I totally get that because it's not that clear. So when it says lock to 30, lock to 60, it actually means lock to half 
of your screen FPS and look to your screen FPS. I have a 144 hertz screen and if I would put lock to 60 FPS, it would lock it to 144 FPS. So not necessarily 60, but this is during gameplay only. So if you choose the option lock to 60 FPS, and this is even for the people that have a 60 FPS monitor, during the menus, you will get only 30 FPS. I'm not sure why this is the case, but this is how it is. So we found a fix, a solution to get smooth, uh, native refresh rate at all times, even in menus, uh, which is very nice to have because like if you paid extra money for a 144 uh, hertz screen, then why not have the game run at 144 FPS at all times? Uh, so what you do is you choose no lim limit on FPS, DirectX 11 as well. 12 is not very good optimized. Um, it gives a lot of FPS issues. Uh, some people get crashes of it as well. So I would recommend just going on 11. FIFA really isn't the game that benefits from direct. So this is what I use. Uh, for free to pause the video, check it out, compare it. Um, and of course, just always see what works for you. But button icons, I don't change it. Voice chat, I like to keep it on. Um, during draft, it's quite fun to hear your opponent rage or like, you can always be like nice to each other and, and maybe you'll make a friend out of it. Sound level, if you have a 7.1 surround side headset, why not turn it on? Yeah, it would be a waste to not do it. And uh, as the launcher goes, uh, this, is, uh, this is good enough. Now, in addition to the uh, frame rate part, we need to change a small setting. We go to the um, NVIDIA configuration screen uh, or your AMD um, screen if you have uh, those uh, video cards. Then we go to uh, 3D settings program settings and then we're gonna find FIFA 19 in this list all right I have it selected and then we scroll to the bottom v-sync and we're gonna turn it off um, there is no option in the FIFA launcher itself to uh, change the v-sync setting uh, but as you know v-sync is also something that adds delay and also something that sometimes prohibits your game from running at the optimized uh, FPS settings. Um, so we're gonna turn off VSync. Yeah, normally you need to uh, click apply, but I already done it, so I don't have to, no changes. Uh, then I use uh, River Tuner, uh, additional software to limit the game um, from um, not going higher than 144 FPS. Uh, because of course it's not necessary, your screen only can display up to uh, a certain amount of FPS. So there's no way to use your extra processing power for, for nothing basically. And it, it helps with the stuttering as well. Like when the game goes to the 200, 300 FPS, I feel it, it does look less smooth than when you just limit it at your screen uh, refresh rate. Okay, so in regards to the, the launcher, this, uh, this was what I had to say. And then we can go uh, back into Origin. Now, if you have downloaded the game and you feel like you are missing certain uh, commentary options, this could be that it's not yet downloaded. And to trigger this, you need to go to Settings, um, Properties, Game Properties, um, Advanced Startup Options, and on the language, it's now on Netherlands, Dutch. Um, but for example, if you're missing the French uh, commentary, you can select French here, and then it will start to download um, the French language files if they aren't already on your PC. And this basically goes for all the other languages that do have their own commentary, because uh, you can probably select Chinese as well, but I don't think there's Chinese commentary. Uh, so maybe Italian, uh, German. Um, so if, if you feel like you wanna change it up, uh, if you got bored of the English commentary, just download the French one. It's it's a lot of fun to hear all these refreshing celebrations and goal sounds. Um, even though I would say I usually turn the commentary off because it's very triggering. Uh, you can see the kick of goal and the commentary goes like, whoa, there have been the better team all game. And that kind of puts you even down more after you can see the, a kick of goal. All right, um, so the next things um, are a little bit of quality uh, of life improvements. Um, and we need to nav navigate to the um, install directory of FIFA. For me, that is uh, the C drive games and FIFA 19. That's where I installed it on my SSD. Not sure if that's a big of a difference. 
um, I mean, I guess it loads quicker and stuff. First, we're gonna open the folder and we're gonna go to the FIFA setup folder. We have a file called config.ini and we're gonna open it. Okay, and in this, um, we don't really see anything, but we can add something. Um, of course, uh, I will put this uh, in the description. So if you followed um, the tips I gave you um, just a minute ago about the FIFA launcher, basically you're set for the entire year and that's kind of a thing I hope they're gonna improve in the future. Um, there's really no good reason for us to click play and then click play again uh, every time we wanna play FIFA. I would say the first time, maybe after each patch or first time of the year, um, it can be good to check if all the settings are good um, by default. And if you have looked at them, if you have thought about them, if you have changed them, you just add auto low dash launch space equals space one. We're gonna save it. And you can guess what happens if we now press FIFA 19 Ultimate Team, it will skip the launcher and it will go straight into the game. Um, just a small thing that really takes a second to add and, and no more launcher. Great, great. All right, um, we're gonna go back to the FIFA folder. Uh, go back one level uh, and we'll go inside the data folder. Here we find the local.ini file. Um, we're gonna open it. Uh, what you can change in this file is a few things. Second line goes uh, use language select. Now, if you put this on zero, it will skip the asking for the language. Um, I like in my memory, they patched, patched it a while ago that if you select it once, it would remember, but I don't really feel that's the case. Um, so what you do is you change the one to the zero and then it will show your, your default language based on your region. Now for me, that is Dutch, um, but I don't like the game in Dutch. So I will delete the line that says Dutch and then it will default to English. Um, that's how it works, don't ask me why. And another thing you can change, also depending on maybe where you live in the world. Although I like the game in English, uh, I don't like the imperial system. If I want to look at a player's height, I want to see that he's 199 uh, centimeters and not 5-6, which can mean like three or four centimeters difference. I mean, this is something for another time, but the, the system is pretty weird. So what we do here is um, we find the regionalization in US. And this is if you play the game on English. So if you, uh, so what you do is in all caps, you type here metric and the weight as well. So you get it in kilos instead of pounds, I think. Um, metric, all right. Uh, you can even change how the date looks, um, how where the comma is, how the percentage looks. Um, so we save this as well. And and uh, now that we have saved it all, we can just click play FIFA. And because we changed all these things, um, it's gonna launch and it's loading up. And after we skip the intro. As you can see, we have no um, screen that asks for a language. Uh, we didn't have the launcher this time as well. And it's gonna load the settings. And as soon as it's done with that, it's gonna go in the top left corner to 144 FPS and it's gonna look hella smooth. Um, of course, on YouTube, this is gonna be 60 FPS. So imagine it being way better in real life. Okay, so... Um, after you boot up FIFA, basically the majority is done and now all the things will come down to personal preference. I always go to settings, game settings and tr change the things I want to change. Maybe your camera, of course, just do that first. Then also the uh, HUD, I would love to have um, player name and player indicator instead of the online ID, which I see you, a lot of people have. Um, sometimes, and especially when you play in co like I do, uh, you're quite far away and you can't really see who is on the ball. Um, but if you see the name above the player, um, it's really nice to know 
okay, so this is Mbappe. So I know he is right-footed. I can take the shot. Um, but if it's um, someone else who has a similar uh, in-game look and who's maybe left-footed, then it's also good to know that he's left-footed. Um, for your own team, this isn't a problem, I think, because after a few games, you're kind of used to um, who plays in your team. But for the opponent's team as well, you can see who he has selected and if he's going to catch up to you or if he aren't, if he's selecting a slow player. And this will also show you the bars, bottom left and right uh, in the game, with the name and the power bar. Um, this is also something you can use to see if your opponent is going to do a high power shot, a high power cross. Uh, maybe you can then bring out your goalkeeper. Just a, sm a small thing you can change. Um, you can see if you want commentary, if you want stadium sounds, music. Um, you can all change it, uh, basically. And we're going to go over to the... The final thing here, um, on PC, unfortunately, there is a, quite an issue with uh, cheaters, uh, mainly in draft. Um, and when you face them, um, there is a chance that um, they will uh, give you a DC and that your game will crash. Um, now, this is something you can stop from happening by going to the uh, settings, the online settings, privacy settings, and then the share usage, usage data, you turn off. You need to restart Origin uh, for this to uh, apply. Um, but this will no longer give you a crash uh, when you face a cheater in uh, draft. I will put in a clip uh, of how it looks when you face a draft cheater now. Um, basically what happens is, or what you can do to stop um, yourself from facing cheaters is you check out the estimate date um, when the club was created. Now, if, it's the, if this is in the cured month or the month before, I would say just dodge. Um, if they have a default uh, team name, um, which is usually something like either like normal football clubs like Napoli FC or or something I mean something that is not user created that's kind of a giveaway that it's um, a cheater and then without discriminating um, to Russians I would say the majority of people that I face in draft that have a Russian club name and a Russian uh, where it says draft team normally for for English uh, users Usually they are cheaters, so I usually dodge them. Um, but if you did the fix I just showed you, um, you don't get a crash if you face them. Um, you will see in the in the matchup screen they have super low chemistry because they just auto completed the draft. Uh, after like one or two passes, the game will give a DC. It will say the match is on the review, and you can go back into the draft. Um, and still play uh, the game. You you don't lo lose progress, but you do get a loss on your record. Um, only on your draft record this is, um, not on your um, overall record. Uh, so if you play on PC and your draft record is weird, um, if you have more games played than um, is possible with the amount of entries you have, that's perfectly normal um, because... I mean, sometimes you just face like five cheaters in a row and, and then it looks like you played an extra draft because it counts as four losses. Um, so your draft record is probably better than you uh, see uh, in the game. Uh, so that's uh, good to hear. You're not as bad as the game makes it look. Um, but yeah, these, these were some tips, some tricks, uh, some quality of life improvements that you can uh, use. To improve your FIFA experience. Um, if you guys have any questions about what you can do to, um, you know, minimize delay or, or get a better wireless connection for your controller, feel free to ask me uh, in the comment section down below. I will also put my origin there so you can add me if you want, maybe play a game, um, get some tips as well. And yeah, I, I wish you all uh, good luck. Have fun in the game as well. 
and uh, I'll see you all next video. Bye.